Hello and welcome back to a brand new week here on my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be testing out a Profusion Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and it is the Pro Pigment eyeshadow palette. So it looks like that. Um, you actually have 21 Pro Pigment shades and you get one of those dual ended brushes in here as well. Now before I uh, share that with you, share with you a look and a few swatches as well, I just want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that sent well wishes and get well soon messages over the weekend. I really appreciate it. It really made me feel so much better um, when I received those messages so thank you and I must say that even though you can still hear that I am not a hundred percent I'm certainly better than I was Saturday so thank you so so much for that or those um, now getting back to the palette um, it is their larger pan palette so you get 21 eyeshadows in here um, you also get that dual ended brush as well now the palette you don't have a mirror these usually retail for £11.99, I believe. Um, I can't quite remember because I'm sure this was half price because my husband picked this one up for me. I actually picked up um, some palettes in, well, my husband picked it up, but they were in the sale. And what I like about sales is that you can pick up items that you wouldn't ordinarily pick up, say, you know, full price. This is one of those because, yes, you have the neutrals, but you also have those pops of colour pink. So if you like pink, you're going to love this. And you can see that I definitely love pink and I love bright. Um, but yeah, I picked up, first of all, palettes like the Sienna's palette that really, um, you know, caught my eye and I knew that I would definitely use them. But when it comes down to these, these are a little bit different um, for me because they have those brights and neutrals. You also get a yellow in here, like a yellow gold. You get a, and that is a, like a, uh, navy colour. You get a lot of neutrals as well and I really like the fact that in palettes now um, these um, brands have realised that you have to have neutrals even when you've got these pops of colour to give you that base. So this has got all of the neutrals that you're going to need as well as those beautiful pops of colour. Not quite sure what I'm going to do but I'm sure it's going to be pink. Uh, to match my jumper as well. Um, you also get one of those dual ended brushes. Um, like with all of their other large palettes, it's fluffy on one side, so fluffy. Looks a little bit contoured as well, doesn't it? So uh, the other end is a little bit flatter, a little bit more rounded, like that. Much more of a packer brush, whereas this is much more of a I suppose blending brush. Okay, so let's do a few swatches. So I'll do a couple of shimmers, a couple of mattes. Um, the thing with these swatches, um, uh, you know, I think we're all over swatches now, aren't we? But I'm just gonna do a couple because the um, whole thing with swatches is to give you a little bit of an idea of the formula. But, I mean, we don't wear eyeshadows on our arm. It's all about how the product applies on our eyes. So let's have a little look. Devoted has definitely struck a chord with me. It's right in the middle there. It's a matte, it's beautiful. It's like a mauve burgundy, um, just stunning like that. So a mauve burgundy. Um, to start with, these do look a little bit powdery. Just gonna get a wipe to clean my finger. I've gone with a, a deep shade straight away. Let's go with another matte. I think I'm gonna go for that really vibrant pink that matches my jumper called Jive. Now, a lot of the time when I have tried these bright pinks in particular, they're very, very powdery, not very good pigmentation. So whether or not I'll use that one, not quite sure, but so far it swatches okay. Okay, let's try a shimmer. Um, I'm going to go for Let's have a look. There's so much to choose from, isn't there? Shimmy, which is that yellow gold in the corner. Ooh. So that's shimmy. And then what should I go for next? Um, <laughs> so difficult. Pop, I think, which is a pink shimmer. 
So there we have the two shimmers, the two mattes. I've rubbed this one in a little bit too much, but you get the general idea. This is why I don't really like to do too many swatches anymore because you can't really get an idea. I've done swatches where they the swatches look great and the eyeshadows were not that great. I've also done swatches where they weren't particularly good, which actually a lot of them came from this brand and then they performed beautifully on the eye. So it really is all about how they apply it on the eye. So let's get into it now. I'm going to start off with the 251 Eye Increase contour brush from Primark, really fluffy brush. If you haven't obviously, or aren't able to go to Primark, then you know, a big fluffy brush to start with is what I'm going to go in with. Now, what color do I go in with? Do I go in with a bright pink and then neutralize it a bit? Is that what I will do? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna go straight in with, um, should I go in with Jive? See how we get on, yeah, why not? Let's go straight in with Jive jive <laughs> sounded like i said drive then okay i'm going straight in with jive um which is that bright pink one now my makeup looks very very creased today my skin is so so dry but obviously that is what happens when you've not been particularly well um so Let's go in with this and see if I can make a look work with these brights. Now, like I said, a lot of the time with these neon pinks, neon, you know, colours in general, um, they don't work very well because you, they look great in the pan, but then they don't work very well on the eye. Um, and that actually isn't too bad. I've really blended it out. So I'm gonna go in with a bright pink first of all, um, and then I'll go in with deeper colors to deepen it up. And obviously I will be using my technique to neutralize it. I was actually explaining it to someone yesterday um, and they're going to test that out and see how they get on with it because I think it's such a great technique if like me you're a little bit concerned about color um, you know you like neutrals but you want to incorporate a little bit of color into your look um, but you obviously don't want it to be too bright you know if you're new to it but I mean I've gone straight in with it you can see that pink has definitely packed a punch okay now I'm going to go in with Go Girl. So let me just tip it up. I've gone in with that one first of all. Now I'm going to go in with, whoops, is it Go Girl? Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Go Girl, which is this, I can't see it, this one there, that one, that's right. Okay, I'm going to go in with that one. I'm gonna start deepening it up and see how we get on. So we've gone a little bit deeper there. Now I'm going to go even deeper and I'm going to go in with one of my favorite shades from the palette, which is Devoted, which is one of the shades that I swatched for you. And it's that one there. So we're going to go in with that. See how that works. We're seeing a lot of bright eyeshadow palettes being released and, you know, it's nice to see how you can make them work. So you can see that we're now starting to get the depth. I mean, obviously you don't have to use this bright pink, but you can go in perhaps with not quite such a pink Color, but I really wanted I knew my eye was drawn to that pink straight away so I thought yeah I'm gonna have to do it okay 
Um, I've got a little bit, one like little drop of powder there. Okay, it's looking very, very bright at the moment. I'm going to use Devoted underneath the eye. And then that will give me a little bit of balance. As you know, I really like the under eye done because it then shows me um, where I am with the look, basically. Okay, now I'm looking at it and I don't have a deep, dark brown, which is what I would usually, and that amount I'm talking about, but they do have some shimmers, so I might have to use a shimmer to actually give me the depth there, because at the moment it's looking very bright. I'm gonna go into um, Adorn, which is this one here, see how that works. stamp it through the crease yeah we're getting a little bit more where I want it to be now I want it to be bright but I also want it to be you know wearable as well And when I'm putting it on like that, it's not, I'm stamping it in, and it's not giving me too much shimmer, which is definitely what I don't want in the crease. So that's looking good. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that Adorn under here. Obviously, if you don't like pink, there are certainly a lot of other colors in this palette for you to use, but obviously within this pink, Within this palette, sorry, there are some beautiful pinks. So I think if you do like pinks, this is definitely a must have. Okay, so far, really, really love it. Um, yeah, love that, but it's very, very pink and red, isn't it? So I know a few of you don't like that look, but this is what I wanted to do today to show that this palette works. Now, what am I going to put on the lid? Um, that is the question. So let's have a look. So I've got that bright yellow, not quite sure that will work. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with Dizzy, which is this one here. That one there is a peach. I'm really intrigued to see how that one works. That is gorgeous. love that and surprisingly it works very nicely with the shades that I'm wearing I knew that if I didn't use the pink um, I know what you'd think you know you've got a pink palette there why aren't you using the pink so that's what I thought I would do today and I felt like going bold and bright. I'm using that same colour, which is Dizzy. It's like a duochrome because it looks like a peach, but it's got a little bit of gold to it as well. So yeah, really, really love that. Beautiful actually. Okay, so that is the eye look completely done. I'm just going to use my original brush um, the fluffy one. I'm just going to clean off as much of the shadow just by using my, I call it a colour switcher, it's just one of those inexpensive um, colour switches from Primark. I'm just going to go over here just to blend that out a little bit. Okay, I'm now going in with the eyeliner 
and of course I'm using, if I can get the lid off, um, I'm using the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Liner. Also going to apply mascara, which as always is the Mascara Revolution. I think I could have neutralized this look a little bit more, um, but basically I would have to have gone to another um, palette because of course there wasn't like a matte brown. So I've kept it quite bright. I think there are a lot of you that love your bright eyeshadow, so this look is dedicated to you. Like that. Now I'm going quite neutral with the lip. Um, over Christmas, um, Boots were selling these and they are the Mixed Metals Lips. I picked up Nude. Um, I actually picked this up in the sale for £3.50 rather than £7 as priced there. And within this collection, you get these. I've not shared these before, so um, I just wanted to keep to profusion and um, use these products today. There was also another lip kit called Coco. Um, that one's a lot deeper. Um, so yeah, I would certainly check out Boots just to see if they still have any of these lip kits. I haven't been in Boots for a week or so, so I'm not quite sure. Um, so I'm using the lip liner first of all, and this one is called Nude Intrigue. So it looks like that. It's not a pencil, it is a like a twist up kind of pencil. So I'm just going, it's not a pencil as in, you know, a, like a lead pencil, that kind of wood effect. It's a twist up pencil. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply the lip liner. I'm just going to uh, fill in the corners a little bit. like that so it's quite neutral this look then we have the liquid lip it's they're calling it a matte lip cream and we've got a shade here it's called matte nude so it looks like that it's quite a flat applicator I think it smells nice So that is the lip. I wanted to go nude, like again, if I wear a really bright eye, I like quite a nude lip. Um, the same in my clothes. If I, I like to wear a lot of black, but then I like a pop of color as well. So um, that is, I suppose, you know, reflected in my makeup as well. You also get a, what are they calling this? A metal matte lip cream as well, which is quite, metallic. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in the middle. Not too much. love that lip kit that is stunning absolutely beautiful okay so let me just pop these back in and then I will talk about the products that I have shared with you okay so um, the pro pigment eyeshadow palette what I would say about this is as with the other palettes didn't swatch 
um, particularly great. You can see the swatches there. I wouldn't say it, it swatched, you know, great. I mean, that was a terrible swatch from me. But, you know, it wasn't what I would say it, you know, blew my mind at, because of the great swatches. But, uh, and that actually applies to everything from Profusion. I don't think anything else swatched particularly well either. But obviously, the test is, how did it apply on the eye? And I've gone bright, um, not only because I'm wearing this top, but I wanted to go bright to test out the brights because as I mentioned at the beginning, these really bright pinks, we've seen them done before and they're not very good. They're very powdery. Um, they, you know, you can, um, they look really good in the pan. They look really bright, but when you put them on the eye, they're very wishy-washy, they're very, you know there's not much pigmentation but actually these pinks you can see the look absolutely beautiful yes i think i would like to neutralize it a little bit more um, by using a deeper brown a cooler brown just to neutralize it that little bit more um, that's particularly how i like to wear bright eyeshadow but i think all in all it looks really good and i really love that shimmer dizzy um i thought to myself when i first looked at this palette you've got the pop of pinks and then you've got these peaches are you know are they going to work together you know um i think we've seen a lot of palettes um where the colors just don't work so in this one you've got the neutrals yes i would have preferred a deeper cooler brown but of course i wanted to be true to the palette and i've got those colors in other palettes if i wanted to do that technique but i wanted to keep true to the palette which i have done i've used the bright pinks because i knew if i went over this side you would say why haven't you used the pinks um, and that's what i've done so yeah i really really like the pigmentation um it i didn't have too much fallout there was a little dot of fallout when i went into the shade devoted which is one of the richer let me just open it up uh, one of the richer shades here that actually kicked up more than any other shade that i used in here but what i would say is for eight pounds or eleven pounds 99 if it's not um, purchased in the sale um, I think it's a really good inexpensive palette and it gave me a beautiful bright pink eye look stunning this eye look would be perfect if I was wearing my usual all black outfit it would look gorgeous which is what I like to do a lot of the time getting on to the lip lip kit the mixed metal lip kit um, also from profusion cosmetics I really like this. If you manage to get this, or you can manage to get this from Boots, you can't get it online anymore because I think everything is sold out. I will check, um, but and I'll have the link down below. But do check out your local Boots store. These are only now £3.50. They really are amazing. Not sticky, feels very lightweight, even though I've got three products. I've got the lip liner on, the matte lip cream, the metallic lip cream. It works beautifully and I think it really does work well with this eye look so all in all very very impressed with the palette absolutely love the eye look I'd really like to hear your thoughts on the eye look and of course the lip kit did you manage to pick any of these products up I will also uh, link down below my profusion cosmetics haul that I recently have done have yeah I've recently filmed for you you can see my brain is still a little bit cotton woolly from this terrible cold. Um, I will link it down below. If you watch that and if there's any other products that you would like me to film um, a testing video for, then obviously I'm happy to do that. So let me know down below. Um, but other than that, I will probably be sharing those anyway. But it's do you want to see certain products first? So do let me know what you think of the eye look, lip look. Is there any products that you want to see from my recent haul? And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. But as always, fingers crossed until tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.